Hello everybody and welcome back to Slime Rancher. Now last we left off we were able to technically complete the story aspect of it and we got that really cool cutscene and the music at the end. Um, but we are not done with the glass desert so that's what we're going to initially start doing. As soon as we get into it we are going to be giving the mosaic plorts to the rock statues and we're going to be giving the dervish ones to the rock statues and we're going to give the tangle ones to the tangle statues. So let's get right into it. <sighs> home sweet home. All right, so I'm sure you've noticed, I mean, maybe you haven't because it's only been three seconds into the video, but if you notice, I do have 314,000 slime dollars down on the bottom left. Um, excuse me. Guys, clean up your mess. I didn't do that. But yeah, we've got 314,000 slime dollars, and everybody seems to be full. All right. So we're doing good. So what we're going to initially do is first we're going to see if there's anything else we can do over here besides the slime key. No. All right. So we are going to go into the Seven Z's Rewards Club, and we are going to get the Master Gordo Snare. We are also going to get a Heart Module Upgrade, a Golden Sure Shot with a Lab Upgrade. Actually, here, before we get the Lab Upgrade... Let's go to the lab real quick, over here, and we're going to see what it looks like, just to uh, just so we know what we're expecting. So this is what the lab currently looks like. We've got some like broken rafters up here, and uh, yeah, we got like, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's pretty much all it's got going for it. All right, let's get the lab upgrade. Ooh, the Titan Drill. Ah, not enough slime dollars. All right. Now let's go back to the ranch and see what changed. Or the, the lab. Oh, yeah. All right. So it's still uh, still under construction. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it'd be a little bit more finished. Uh, but looks like we've got some better yellow rafters right here. It's connected. Um, I was kind of hoping maybe some glass would be great. Um... <laughs> But, I mean, as for now, I guess that's okay. Alright, also, it's come to my attention that maybe we should put some people here. Like, we're getting good money from both of these, but we have an empty slot, which means we can actually be getting more money. So, I don't know what I'm going to put in there right now. I love this lighting thing. but I don't, So, I don't know what I'm going to put in there for right now. Um, I might even have an extra empty slot over here. No. A lot of, uh, Oka Okas, though. But yeah, technically, I guess I can get rid of this, and I can put something else there as well, because we have plenty of food. What we're going to do right now is we are going to go back into this area, and we are going to start putting these um, mosaic tangle and dervish plorts down. Ooh, so fancy. All right, so I am not 100%... Ah. We can do this one, too. All right, well, here, let me grab some vegetables. Just because I can. And I think I can make it to there from over here. Nailed it. Oof. I, I can't believe I threw a beat at it first. That's so cool. Also, I believe I had seen a... We're going to wait for our energy to go back up. But I believe I saw a treasure pot over here. Earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly to this. Yeah, right there. Let's get this energy back up. Nice. What do we get? Ooh, towering glass sculpture. I like that. Right now I can't see anything because it's a, a blaze. Is there anything over here? There is something over here. That's kind of cool. And anything can be hidden. Berry Warp Depot. I'm guessing berry is just the color of it. I, I don't really like the Warp Depots. Because... It just transports an item from one spot to another, and you can just have other things that can do the same thing. 
Like, if you needed to go to the refinery, just warp to the refinery. Ooh, treasure pod. There we go. Now I can see. Jeez. Hey, but we found a treasure pod. That's kind of cool. Super hydro turret. I don't even use the original hydro turret. Alright, so we're on the lookout for... Things that can help us activate these things. Alright, I think I found one. I, uh, I really went the roundabout way to get to it, because, uh... That's, like, right where our, uh... Oh, he's dying. Goodbye. Um... But yeah, we went the roundabout way to get here, but... We got one. And I'm not sure how many there were. I remember there was one down here. There we go. This is still three for this one as well. I feel like bringing 15 probably was too many. All right, let's go find that third one. All right, here it is. Got it. All right. Now our goal... ...is to use this water... ...and spray all the flowers. That's one flower. Two flower. I don't know how many flowers there are. Alright, here's another pod. Um, it's... F it's well too far away for us to use that last one that we just activated. So we're going to need to find some more places to put these crystals. Whether it's the Dervish or the Tangle. Ah, there's the rock. Got it. Alright, that's one. Even if I find them all, I don't know where it's activating the thing from. This is the, uh, where I kind of started. Hey, do you guys see that? I turned this corner. Right from where I began. And there's a dervish, uh... There's a dervish Largo right there. Or a Gordo, my bad. And there's one of those things. Yeah, dervish Gordo. They eat fruit, so I don't have any fruit on me. But that's noteworthy. we got to remember where that is. Hello, friend. You don't happen to see any more of those tangled statues, do you? No? Okay. Bye. Let me know if you see anything. Ooh, I see something. Alright, well, I found it here. That's good. But that doesn't help me, because I still don't know where the other thing is. Oh, there it is. Really wasn't that far away, was it? It was just right here. Ha! Got it. Is there any more? I'm taking my sweet time because it's a hassle to get up here. Got that one. I might be able to hit this one if I book it. All right, let's give it a shot. Got him. Got him. Got him. Ah, oh, and he disappeared. That was fun. I always like finding the lucky slimes. All right, but we need to make it back up here. What is this? A gilded ginger? Very few ranchers will ever read this. What's a gilded ginger? Curiously, gilded gingers cannot be replicated in a garden as its unusual biological properties prohibit it. However, there is perhaps another use for it, favored by the gold slime. Said that the holy grail of veggies, gilded ginger, can very rarely be found growing in the glass desert. It is the only known food that the gold slimes will eat, 
and the few that have seen it claim that doing so will greatly reward the lucky rancher. So if I throw this at a gold slime, how much money do you think it's going to give me? Or can I put it on a Gordo snare and snare a golden Gordo? Oh, that would be pretty cool. I wonder if I can find more. I know, now I'm being greedy. Can I make it? Got it. Also, did you see there's a treasure pot up there? But for now, I'm going to just go as far as I can to see if there's anything else I can hit with this thing. No. Alright, what's in it? Pot-tac-tactus. Ugh. Why do they gotta be so terrible with their words? Found in the glasses. Oh, look at that slime. The rock dervish looks super cool. Get off me. I'm looking at the dervish. Go away. Yeah, he's awesome. That might be one of my favorites. Holy crap, that's so cool. I'm making that when I get back. I'm going to put that in the... Uh, I have an open slot. I have an open slot in the other area. So right now we're going to go back to the ranch. I still haven't found the dervish ones yet. So I'm going to cash these in. Might as well not waste them. And I'm only going to keep three. And we're going to see what it takes to... Because uh, holding the Gilded Ginger the entire time... Just to see if I can find a Lucky Slime would just be really obnoxious. If I see another Gilded Ginger, I'll do it. But what I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to try and snare a Golden Slime. Let's see what it takes to make one of these um, snares. The Master Snare. I've got everything for it. Let's get it. All right. Now, if this works, it's going to be absolutely amazing. The question is, is where do we want to put our Gordo? We can put it anywhere on any of these areas. Hmm. He's going to be like our pride and joy of our area. So not in the middle. I don't like anything in the middle. I'm thinking about having these be just warps things right here. This is it. This is where we're going to put our snare. How do I know which way it's facing? Alright. Oh my goodness. Alright, hold on. Alright, I said I was going to do it, so I'm going to do it. Now, they're not going to give me maximum plorts. Because the, the two fruits in here are not their favorites. But. Look how absolutely awesome these guys are. Is that guy on top? What are you doing up here? Get inside. Also, I, I they are going to give me maximum ports for, for here. I figured I'll lower these guys' uh, food rate. So that they can start getting stocked up. They won't put any of the food in there because there's already the wrong kind of food in there. But, I mean, sounds pretty cool to me. Let's give them some food real quick. Just so I can get some of my ports back. But look how amazingly awesome these guys are. They are so cool. They might actually be some of my favorite. My favorite slimes were definitely the mosaics which I don't even have in here which would look super cool in here too I don't know either way the, the mosaics were my favorite slimes by far and the dervish were just kind of like second fiddle um, but I had never unlocked the galaxy skin for it and the rock the rocks are just the rocks there's nothing special about the rocks but this is so cool okay what I'm gonna do is I'm going to water all my all my guys 
I'm gonna water all these things because they were all uh they were all dead. They were all uh too tired and they curl up and they ran out of water so they won't work. Ah, if only everybody worked for water. Um let's see. So I'm gonna water water everybody, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sleep through the night. And after I sleep through the night, hopefully I would have snared a golden gordo. Is he there? Nope. Still not there. Water, water, everywhere you're gonna get wet. Good luck, fruit. I'll see you in the morning. Alright. Moment of truth. Yes! Oh my goodness. Look at him. And he only eats the gilded ginger. Ah, oh, that's so cool. We've got our own little golden gordo. Ah, oh, you'll never see one of these things out in the wild. That is so cool. Ah, oh, he's so happy when I, when, I, when I look at him. He just... Ah. 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 Yeah, I know he wants me to feed him, but like... Come on, that's awesome. Alright, let me stack up on some fruit. And we're going to also go get the, uh, we're going to go get that Dervish Gordo. All right, we've got our Dervish Plorts. We've got our Prickle Pears for the Gordo. And the thing is, is we are also going to, what we're also going to do is we're going to see if we can find the either, I guess, Tangle. Oh, no, we already found the Tangle. Oh, well, then I brought 50 chickens for nothing. I was going to say maybe we could find the Tangle Gordo as well. Uh, which is why I brought the 50 chickens along. But uh, I guess there's no point for that. Hello, Dervish buddy. How are you? Have some pogo fruit. Have some prickle pear. Yes, you like the prickle pear, don't you? Oh my gosh, you're getting huge. There we go. Another slime key. What do I need all these slime keys for? I feel like I've unlocked everything. I love the dervish. I absolutely love these dervish. Ha! Huh. Got it. Gotta go back up north so I can... Get the... Oh, a treasure pod. I was gonna say we gotta go back up north so I can put these dervish ports in. Oh, a master apiary. That's nice. That's good. Also, I brought way too many prickles. I thought it was 50. Maybe it was only 25? No. I was going to say maybe it's only 25 because it was his favorite fruit. But I tested that out earlier. It didn't work. I don't know. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I had seen one over here. Just right here around the corner. Yeah. Got that one. All right now, I'm not sure where the, uh, okay, well. Oh, and there's another one up there. Um, what are you guys doing here? Uh, you know what, that's a silly question. You guys are the ones that can, like, travel through realities. You guys could be wherever you want to be. There, I did see another one up here. Oh, that was a, that was a hard, that was a hard toss. All right. And then the other one I was guaranteed was like down up here, like a pit. Yeah. Man, I'm so good at remembering things. We've got one there. We've got them everywhere. It might have to take me a couple of trips to get up there. I got three slime keys and I can purchase another one. Why on earth do I need so many slime keys? And actually, hold on. Before I jump, I'm just going to see if I can... Awesome. Wow, that that takes up a really big area. Ah, oh, I'm not gonna be able to see anything. All right, let's go again. Nice. And then I believe I there was one over here. I don't know how many there are. But I've only got so many seconds. Four. Nice. There might be more. I'm not sure. 
but I just got three of them, so that's pretty good. Alright, well I'm pretty sure we've made some really good progress today. So right now we're going to sleep until morning. We're going to go to the Seven Z's Rewards Club and see how much more we can purchase. We can now get the Titan Drill Blueprint. Ooh, we can get the Abyssal Pump. No, we can't. We cannot get the Abyssal Pump. Alright, uh, let's return to the ranch real quick. Oh my gosh, my whole place is on fire. Alright. So, what I've got done here is I'm having this guy take uh, some extra fruit. I've got some extra fruit over here. I'm taking that over to the uh, to the silos because these guys have plenty of food. They've got plenty of stuff. They've got plenty of stuff. Whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure one of them still doing plorts. So, yeah, he's still doing plorts. We've got our golden guy over there. He's all happy. And I added these guys. Check it out. I've got a rad and I've got this guy. Now, the reason I put the rad here is because if I feed him a couple of Oka Okas, he'll get a little bit bigger. And I don't think it's going to be cutting this guy in half anymore once, if I can give him some more stuff. So I'm, I'm thinking about lining my entire area up with these Gordos. Um, so that's super cool. Um, and then over here, this is one more thing that I've done. Is, well, first I'm going to do this. Yeah. So what I've done over here is, turns out, I was running out of pink, uh, I was running out of pink things. Apparently, you can only hold a thousand plorts in the refinery at a time. Um, so that's something I've learned. But I've now made them both pink hunters. Um, they eat anything, so it doesn't actually matter all that much. And it's all going to the refinery. The reason I want hunters in the refinery is, one, nothing's really been going into the refinery ever from the hunters. And two, that's what it takes to make um, the master Gordo snares. Or maybe all the snares, really. I'm not really sure. But it's a hunter, so a snare would make sense. So yeah, they need the hunter plorts. And so that's pretty much everything that's been going on so far. Um, next episode, we are going to start tackling... Not here. Next episode, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be tackling these teleporters. So inside here is something for um, this guy right here. Uh, I forget what his name is. Um, but he's got all sorts of fun stuff in this little area um, that I haven't really explored yet. So I have explored it a little bit in my free time when I was playing the game before. But there's another teleporter in here that I haven't even explored even in my own free time. I've explored nothing. And that would be this one over here. This teleporter. So I know nothing about this one. So who knows? And then I don't think anything has changed over here besides the fact that I added in a bunch of these things because I needed hexacomb. And these are the reasons that I, I was running out of pink ports, is because I just decided to, uh, over here I decided to get a bunch, like, look, I've got 11 palms, I've got 15 apiaries, like an idiot. Um, I used up all my ports because I was just tapping them, and I just wanted a bunch. Master, or the Go Master Gordo Snare? Okay, here, let's fabricate one more. Or two more. Because I got the hexacomb and I've got the ports now. So I just fabricated two more of those guys. And I don't know what this is. Um, I noticed it earlier, but I don't know anything about this. So I don't know how we activate it. I don't know anything. So what we're going to do is, because we have two more of those snares, I'm thinking we're going to add two more people to the front of our area. Um, that being said, I don't know which ones we should add. I'm thinking crystal. I really like the crystal guys. They're pretty cool. And maybe a... Not a honey... Maybe a Phosphor. Or a Boom. I do like the Booms. Yeah, we're going to do Crystal and we're going to do Boom. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do Crystal Boom. So let's get to that. Alright, so the question is, where do we put the Boom and where do we put the Crystal? I'm thinking the Crystal over here. So let's do that. Uh, install. And let's put the odd onion there, because that's for the crystal. And then right here, we're going to put the boom. So that's for the boom, and that's for the crystal. Yeah, as long as I sleep through the night, 
it should work. So let's do that. Let's sleep until morning. Sleep through the entire day, all day long, all night. Um, let's see if I can get any more. Yeah, there we go. And now I can get the Royal Apiary. I think the Royal is the highest one because you see it's four tiers. Frozen. That's so cool. I, I should probably look at some of the other uh, styles that I can get for this. But let's go over here. And we are going to check out our new Gordos. Look at them. They are so cool. All right, let's feed this guy. And I can, I can blow them up. Um, that's kind of how I get rid of them. If I don't want them. But I want to maximize some of this radiation because I don't like it like going over the guy like this. But I definitely don't want him to start shaking. Shaking is bad. I might just redo the whole thing if he starts shaking. So let's give him some more. I don't know if it's a full 50. It might be. Alright, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Ah... Uh, Ah, just take it all. All right, there we go. Look at that. Now, if anybody wants to come into our ranch, they're going to be like, oh, shoot. <laughs> we need quarantine. Oh, now it's touching this guy. Oh, well. I think it's kind of fun that you got to go through radiation to get into the, uh, into the area. And the reason I have this pump here is because it gives me uh, the deep brine. Apparently, you can't get deep brine in your own ranch, which is why it has to be in the dry reef. And I thought our dry, I thought the dry reef, or I thought our ranch was in the dry reef, but technically, you got to go through that door first before you're able to get into it. So, again, that being said, all right. Well, that's all I've got for you for Slime Rancher for today. If you liked it, you know what to do, and leave me a comment down in the tell section down below on what your favorite slime is and what you want me to do for the next episode. So, what I did is I changed this to the volcanic look and. For the tech and my gun, I changed it to the salamander look. I thought they kind of went well together. But I figured I should probably switch some stuff up around. I don't know. I like change. And I really like my little rad guy over there. <laughs> it's really cool with a giant glowing orb around him. But that's pretty much all I've got for you for right now. And I will uh, see you in the next episode. I had it going to corrals, not auto feeders. Uh, no wonder everybody's always starving. <laughs>